This is an all-new bike for 2019 in India. Because abroad, it was known as the CB300F, the predecessor I'm talking about. So, the engine is very similar, or is this basically the same, which comes in the CBR250R. So, this bike is derived from that, basically the engine. Abroad, the bike's predecessor was the CB300F, then came along the CB300R. So, this bike has a lot of positive, it's got really good ground clearance, there's 151 mm of ground clearance, which is really great. But this bike isn't exactly off-road friendly. Well, what differentiates this bike from the CBR250R? Well, there's the retro futuristic look, there's no fairing definitely, and it's got an upright stance, which is very comfortable to ride. But then, where this bike truly shines is the commuting. If you're in a busy city, day-to-day -day riding, office, college, then this bike sure takes a kick. So aesthetically, the bike is very similar to its elder sibling, the CB1000R. So you have a full LED headlight, a full LED tail light, and you've got this beautiful brush finished uh, aluminum panels in the side, which got the CB300 name badge on it. So overall, it's a really, really good looking bike. And what surprises everybody the most is the bike is really light. Like, it's just 147 kilos. Cutting down weight is not easy. So they have a new frame, which cuts down a lot of weight. And they also have a 10 liter fuel tank. Yes, the fuel tank is only 10 liters. So if you want to cruise a lot, so that is going to be a little bit of a drag because a 10 liter fuel tank, you'll have to be refueling and refueling often. Uh, but the mileage is not too bad. It comes around 27, 28 kmph on the city and up to 35 kmph on the highways. So it's pretty decent. So there's no complaining over there. So we did take the bike a bit off-roading, so we took the bike to the estate. So it performed very decently there. It wasn't a great off-roader, you can't take it extreme off-roading, but it can do a little bit of off-road, so I can say that much. But then again, the Indian roads are a lot rough, so this bike makes perfect companion. Then again, uh, what differentiates this bike from the CBR250R, more technically? Well, you have basically the same brake, but the front brake it's been replaced with a radial listen caliper so this should give better performance which we'll see ahead and I've tested the bike in uh, cities which is Bangalore in Chipangalore which is a town you have a lot of guard roads and you know curved roads here which is brilliant for the bike and especially with the smaller you know shorter gear ratios this bike is a blast to ride in the different uh, you know corners and curved roads it's just brilliant even for the suspension this bike comes with Shaw suspension and man, those are really good. Man, the bike suspension is good. It's a little on the stiff side, which also is good for cornering. And you know, very good for curvy road like this. So yeah, that's there. But man, I'm enjoying. Blue sky, greenery all around you, and then just beautiful. Channel the torque on this bike is really good. For especially, it's a very agile. The bike is very, very agile. So that's a very, very big plus. I did ride this bike a little bit in the city, and man. Before this, I thought only the KTM Duke was the only best maneuverable bike in the city traffic. But then this came along and then I was like, oh man, things can get a lot better in the traffic. Okay, good road, bad road, mix up. Potholes mix up. I'm 
dancing with the groove I'm putting on the moves blowing past it I hope you enjoy the beautiful scenery because all there is here is greenery and the bike is a premium bike you won't be able to find this in any other showroom than the big wing showroom in Honda so it's only exclusive to that showroom so if you want to get a bike you have to go there and then book it but the bike isn't cheap for this you have to pay a premium because after all it is a premium bike so the price comes down to 2.41 lakhs ex showroom and it's a little expensive but it's totally worth it for what I can say so if you want a bike that is not as aggressive as a Duke 390 or you want a bike to commute in the city but trust me this bike in the city is brilliant you can maneuver you can go you can you know cut through traffic and barely you won't feel any hesitation it's just brilliant in the you know traffic city for commuting if you're a college student if you're a guy who goes to office and you want a small bike a light bike and if you are a beginner if this is going to be your first bike then you should definitely go for it this is a brilliant first bike into the class because 300 cc isn't too less of power but it's not uh, very aggressive the power really is very linear so it's all good this is Ryan Sharif signing out with cameraman Rohan Joy Disa and uh, the CP300R